But again, What up? Hope all is well with everyone out there. Thank you guys for joining in today. Today, I am. The title should say something about tuning. I'm not sure yet, but basically, uh, like, what's the best tuner in the MPC 2.6? Because that's the version we're on. What is the best tuner? There is none. <laughs> There is no tuner inside of the MPC. Like, yes, we we can tune a sound or sample, but like key detect, that should be the a better way to say it. What is the best key detection tool in the MPC? There isn't any. So today I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I use and uh well the one that i was using and i just obtained uh one more um and i had i already had one but i wasn't using it so the one that i already had that i wasn't using was m tuner i had it i had got the uh m rhythmizer and it came in that bundle and i didn't realize that this was actually in there i would have been using it a long time ago what i did to find that this was available i just googled uh free vst tuners um another one is g tune this is this is a beta version on the mac so be careful with that they haven't done any uh, updates to it since 2015 I believe it was when I looked at it um, and then the other one is supposed to be MK2 song key the one that you guys if you're familiar with my channel and you've been um, banging with me you see me use it in a couple of the videos Hornet song key that's that was the original version when I came here to show you guys that today, I realized that there's a new version, which I'm super pumped about, because uh, this one looked cool, um, and the origin, the old price is $12, and I don't know why they have a comma here, I don't know if that's how they do it in Europe, because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that should be a decimal point. Um, but anyways, twelve dollars and ninety nine cents euro. So, you know, that's a that's probably like just say twenty bucks, United USD. But right now it's for two ninety nine euros, two dollars and ninety nine. You see, so even if you purchase this one is is you know it's less than ten dollars um it's supposed to be free for me but when i when i went in to log into my account it wasn't available so i contacted them i'm just waiting for them to get back to me and then um yeah i'll be using that and then the other one is mixing key studio edition i've been meaning to grab this up for some time um i went ahead and grabbed it today uh to see what it actually do now this this is um purchase there's no free there's no um demo you have to buy this one again i'm not affiliated there's no affiliate affiliate links in the description area of this video yet <laughs> um for this particular item but um maybe in the future we'll see but um yeah so that's pretty much what we're going to be getting into today pardon this long 
drawn out intro but i wanted to let you know what you're getting into all right so let's get let's get in, over into the mpc software all right so we over in the mpc software i'm just gonna go go at them in order i have g tune in the first slot m tuner in the second slot hornet song key in the third slot and mixing key studio edition in as the last one all right i don't have anything any sounds loaded up yet i'm just going to show you what i would technically how i use it and why i use it and why i asked for the mpc or akai uh to add something like any one of these four into the software studio one has one Ableton has one, um, Pro Tools has one, Cubase has one, uh, I don't use FL Studio, but I believe it has it, uh, what's that, Serato Sample came out the gate with it, um, know what I mean, so, yeah, so I'm gonna randomly... Just go inside my uh my browser. And I'm going to I don't know. I'm just gonna pull something. Pause. <laughs> In this video, I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be. Cause I might or might not cook up. I just want to get the point across with why we need a tuner. So I might be motivated to cook some something up. Uh, all right. So yeah, you guys know that I I do a lot of sample based production, like nine nine times out of ten beats. Nine out of ten beats will begin with a, a sample. Why is that folder not loading up? So I'll randomly pull up any folder. I might directly sample from YouTube um, and I will just uh, Now, I don't want to get a copyright strike because I want to give you guys the information. So, I'm not even going to play it because it really don't matter for this particular um, video. I kind of just, I want something that I vibe with though, but it don't matter. All right, we're going to work with this one. So we got this sample, right? I convert that to a pad parameters, send it to a program. Now I have all these uh the tools the song the um key detection tools are on the master output for right now because i don't have any other sounds um but i would use it on the program themselves either way you know all right so let's start with the g tune So it's starting on A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record it and then let it play. Then I could just run through the other ones. All right. So G tune. So it, it, it reads it off of the 440 hertz. It has a calibrate 
uh function right here but when i click it, it it's not doing anything um that's pretty much it with that you could donate <laughs> um this is where i seen that it did this was from 2015 right from 2015 we in, we're about to be in 20, 2020 so again it's it's on beta so so that one is saying basically a to g let's see what m tuner says it was saying d1 okay saying g sharp this one is a little bit tricky again i don't really know much about this one i haven't really used it I'm just showing you guys uh, what you what you can use out there. So, M Tuner, it's cool, but I don't know if I would really use this for for what I'm using it for. All right, the next one that I usually use, it already says A minor, so that G Tuner was kind of correct. Um, the thing with song key is that, of course, you can reset it. You can follow the key range. <coughs> Excuse me, the key change. So it's telling us the current chord is a, a minor chord. And the key estimation that's dominant is E. So E minor is 71%. A minor is 26. And F major is 1%. So it's between E and A. Right? So that's cool. And then the other one, last but not least, is this one right here. And it's set, telling us that it's A minor. It's in the key. What up? Hold up. A minor, the dominant key is E. So the 90%. So let's play that again. So it's between A and E. Um, it's between A and E. But E minor is in the, I believe A minor is the, the dominant key, but it's played in the key of E, if that makes any sense. Like, so the chord is A minor, it's an A minor chord, and A minor is, is A, C, E, I believe, right? Those are the chords that's in it. So you the leading chord the one chord or the leading progression is the key of e i might be confusing you again i'm not classically trained so i shouldn't <laughs> i got na education i shouldn't really be training anyone on these kind of levels but i'm just giving you a little insight of what i how i use it so boom it tells me that it's a minor i might have already caught the copyright strike i don't know yet but then I'd go into program edit. I'd go into the uh, the sample area right here, and then I'd I'd start to pitch it right. So.
already go told y'all to work around with with that when it start to chop like that All right, so say I like that, right? Let's go back to main. So that first one is saying C, right? So I came from C, D, E, F, G, A. I moved up one, two, three. So technically it is C, right? Now let's see what M Tuner says. It's saying C2. I just don't like the way how this bounces like that. You can't you're not really seeing, like it's not focusing. It's moving too much for me. I would use this like on an 808 or something. Alright. Let's see what Hornet says. Hornet says C. It's correct. dominant key is still E alright and then C minor so they all saying the same thing so they all basically say the same thing now it has key notation down here where it has different um different tools like this is the camelot wheel then you can see it in sharp or you can see it in flat but when you get it it's on when you open it for the first time, it's on flat. You could clear it. You can pause it. You can capture. You can pause it right there. So now it don't. It's not moving anymore. So basically. All of these tools told me the same thing. M Tuner is probably on the bottom of the list, right? For me, I wouldn't really particularly use this tool for any of the any of the jobs. <laughs> Cause it, it's it's moving too much for me. Like it's too much eye work. Um so that would be at the bottom of the list out of four this would be at the bottom um but it's for free though so keep that in mind the number one for me in price range and uh functionality is Hornet song key it works every time baby you feel me so that would be number one number two for me would then be um number two for me would be Mixins Key Studio Edition. It could have been number one for me, but the price is like it's a lot <laughs> for just this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's it's great though. I like I like how it moves. Um, you can pause it, you can clear it. It it definitely gets the job done with it with what it does. Um, so I'm going to use this a lot more but these are you know what I mean if I had to choose any of them 
out of paying for one, I would go with, I would go with this. I'm just being real. I'm not, I'm not being paid by neither of these people. So I could be as real as I want to be. And even if I was being paid, I would still <laughs> say, go with the cheaper um, brand. Now, if I was selling it, if it was mine, then I would say I would go with what's mine. Um, but out of these two, I would go with both of them, but I would bang more with Hornet Song Key. And I'm waiting on the response so I could get Hornet Song Key um, MK3. So look out for that video. That video, well, I don't know if I'm going to do a video surrounding it, um, but I will be utilizing it it in my uh my cookups but that's pretty much it um i might make a beat out of this well i am gonna make a beat but it's not gonna be in this video because this video is a little bit too long already so um yeah it'd be song key one Mixing Key Studio Edition 2, and then G-Tune 3. Now, G-Tune is good for what, it, for what it does. It's actually good. It's actually, it's actually good because it was on the money every time. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it. If you got any comments, questions, or concerns on how to obtain any of these, uh, these softwares, I'll put links in the description to all of them. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with any of them, so there is a fee for two of them. Two of them are free. If you don't already have any of these. I would say that the best one, the best free one is the, the G-Tune. The best paid one is Hornet Song Key. But there's more functionalities um, with Mixed In Key. Like, there's more stuff with this one. And I believe you can connect it uh, or you can utilize it with the other stuff like Captain Chords and Captain Melody and all those kind of things. I do have those. I, I had them um, a year ago. I don't believe I ever did a video surrounding those because it wasn't really functioning well inside of the MPC software again. Um but I might do a video on it sometime soon. So the links to it are in the description um, if you need it. Uh, yeah, and if you're classically trained, you don't need it, right? So do remember that music is life. It is our DNA. Keep banging. Peace, love, light. Till next time. Peace.